Hey guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi here in Denver, Colorado on day 38 of our breeding project. And we've got some of our crosses that are getting ready to be transferred onto grain, which is super exciting. Um, this pink oyster is almost completely covering the plate. And so is this one. And we've got our Piapino clone um, from tissue culture, from that jar culture. And then I've got about 45 more um, isolate crosses that I'm gonna be growing out onto grain. So if you see my um, other videos on grain or for sawdust spawn, um, there's pros and cons to both, but I'm gonna be trying something new this time. So I got some organic rye berries from Lion's Mane. Um, shout out to Lion's Mane in Denver. It's so it's an organic, um, grain from Colorado, so locally sourced substrate. I've got my grain down here, and I'm just going to be adding about 20 cups to this pot, and then filling the rest with water, and then bringing that to a simmer or a boil, and then simmering that for 30 minutes. What's up guys? So I let these jars cool overnight. I've got 40 grain spawn jars that I'm going to be inoculating with all these different strains. Um, so right now I've got about 10 pink oysters crosses and 10 chestnut crosses that are ready. And then I've got some of these Piapini um, jar culture clones. You can see how healthy these are. Uh, I'm going to be plate, or, uh, spawning the Piapini and I've got these chestnut um, from the jar culture clones and I'm going to be doing these liquid cultures of the black pearl king oyster. So you can see the mycelium right there um, from the spore solution. So these are spores that germinated in the liquid culture. You can see how clear that is. So. I'm pretty confident that there's no contaminants and this is just a trial so I won't QC these ones but 
I'm going to be inoculating these against these uh, plated out crosses of Black Pearl Kings as well. So this one actually is a Black Pearl King crossed with a Pleuratus de Jamer and I'm interested to see how that comes out. But I've got another um, subset of just the A and B cross that I'm going to be plating or uh, spawning. So I'll flip this around and kind of go through my process. Um, it's very exciting and I can't wait to set the races off. Okay guys, so I've got my workstation all set up. I'm going to be using fresh blades for every single um, different strain. And I'm going to start with my Liquid Culture Black Pearl King Oyster. Um, you can see the mycelium right there. I'm going to sh shake it up a little bit on the stir plate. that going and you can see the different pairings kind of separated in the solution so there's a bunch of different phenotypes potentially floating around and I'm just going to be selecting for the best one by inoculating a bunch of different um, spawns. I got a couple cultures right I got a couple cultures in here and then I'm just gonna bring this over and start inoculating. So the next plates I'm going to do is this black pearl cross. Um, you always want to work from cleanest to dirtiest when you're doing lab work, especially if you don't want to clean the hood in between each cycle. So I'm going to work from these black pearl kings and then do these uh, haploid to diploid crosses and then do these uh, clones last because potentially there's contamination, but these look very healthy super pleased with these clones that I got off the jar cultures um, but I'll go ahead and walk through this process it's, it's pretty simple I just cut um, a wedge out of each one of these and place them into the green spawn and then label it and we'll be watching these very closely over the next few days to see the mycelium crawl through the green and then we're gonna put those into fruiting 
and select for the most robust strains that we can get out of this whole batch. So I've also got a bunch of these uh, Piapini crosses. They still haven't um, quite merged yet, but I've got about uh, 15 more Piapini and probably half of these are going to be um, compatible. And then I've also got these chestnut haploids that I'm saving and I will be posting these up on Etsy um, as a CO2 producing mushroom. The chestnuts are very slow growers and they will produce a lot of CO2. Um, hydroponic growers are using these um, in their grow rooms to supplement CO2 and that will help the plants. So I'll be posting these on Etsy. Um, I've got a bunch of haploid cultures that um, I'll be posting up on there. All right, so let's get started with these black pearl teams. so that 
it doesn't dry out before the mycelium can take off. Alright guys, so I've got the rest of the cultures on grain and they're going to be incubating until they're ready to go into a fruiting substrate. I'll keep you updated on that. I'm just going to be paying attention real close to see what strains are growing the fastest, the most rigorous, and then my hopes is to get some fruits by May. Um, I'm going to be posting some slant cultures on Etsy, so make sure to um, keep an eye out for that. Um, probably in the next couple days I'm going to be updating my Etsy. I've got a bunch of slants that are looking super healthy and ready for the year. So it's a perfect time to start growing out your mycelium if you're trying to get into the farmer's markets or doing outdoor grows. Right now is the time. Um, I also will have liquid cultures, um, some fresh plates that I'll be putting up there. but. Um, give us a like if you found this video useful, um, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet and you're looking forward to more um, fun projects like this. I'm super excited. Some of those piapini um, and the pink oyster mycelium look so healthy. So I've got the haploid saved and then I'll use those to make slants. So we'll have some G1 cultures available eventually as soon as we figure out what is the best um, what is the best strains that we produce. So thanks for watching. I really enjoy making these videos and um, a lot of you have been pretty interactive. So if you can see anything else that I'm missing or um, have any input or whatever you're excited about, leave a comment below. Um, I really enjoy growing the mycological community, especially here in Denver. So um, looking forward to the next video. Much love.